Welcome to the AACS Daily News for Tuesday, April 14, 2015. Area dignitaries are pushing back against a plan to cap the Attleboro landfill. The landfill has been closed since 2002 and has been ordered capped by the Department of Environmental Protection. Last month, representatives from EnviroCycle of Bridgewater presented a plan to cap the landfill using a new process and a new material called Recrete. The material is made of a mixture of concrete and ground construction material trucked to the site. Residents and state representatives from the area have voiced deep concerns about the plan. The Sun Chronicle reports concerns from state representatives James Timothy, Stephen Howitt, and Jay Barrows. They rose concerns over the health impacts on nearby residents and the number of dump trucks that would be needed to drive through Norton in order to bring in the new material. Paul Rickson, former publisher of the Sun Chronicle, has passed away. Mr. Rickson was publisher of the paper from 1983 to 1998, but was involved in the paper and its predecessors since the 1960s. He managed the paper after the merger of the Sun of Attleboro and the Evening Chronicle. He also ushered in the publication of a Sunday newspaper. Mr. Rickson was deeply involved in the Attleboro community as well, serving in local organizations and coaching youth baseball and basketball. That concludes today's edition of the AACS Daily News. From everyone here at AACS, thank you for watching.